Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here and in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to create a simple vignette that you may not have seen before. So let's get started. All right, so here we are looking at an image. If you look down here in Photoshop, if I click this, we have a new layer. It's just blank, so it's not affecting the image. Now if you look to the left, you'll see a black and a white. Now, if you don't see that, if you hit the D key, that's a quick shortcut. If you wanna to toggle that to the foreground or background, you hit the X key on your keyboard. So if I hit that to the background, we have black on the background. If I hold Command, Delete on the Mac, then you can see we now have a black layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on that and I'm gonna disable that. So now what we wanna do is we wanna come up here to the elliptical marquee tool. So you see that right here? So now what you can do is you can just sort of draw a little shape around someone's face. So if you want the emphasis to be on the portrait, we can create a subtle vignette using this technique. So now once you have this in place, then all you have to do is enable that layer again and then hit the delete key. So now we've deleted that. And then if I hit command D, that'll get rid of the marching ant. Now the next step is to go to filter. We can say blur and Gaussian blur. And we can give this like a Gaussian blur of 400 or 500. And we just wanna blur the lines of that hard circle that we had there. Now the next step is to go to your blend modes and go to soft light. Now you can see it's a much more subtle vignette. And then the last step is to just reduce the opacity. So we could take this down to say maybe 20%. You can see when I toggle that on and off, it's just sort of a subtle vignette. It's a different way to do it. You can even take that opacity down to say 10 if you want. You can really play with the uh, opacity there from anywhere 10 to 15 to 20 and to get some different subtle effects. Now, if you still feel like you want the bottom part of the image to be darker, I'll show you one last thing and it's just to create a simple gradient. So you go to gradient right here and then you can see how we have that that's white. If you click here and click there, now you can see how the bottom of the image is dark. So that's that square right there that you want. Also, you wanna make sure that it's linear and at 90 and align with layer, we say okay. And then again, what we can do is we can reduce that opacity. So if that other vignette wasn't enough in the bottom part of the image, for example, you could take this and you could scale that down as well. And then if I hit the option key, click on the bottom, you can see before and after. It's just sort of a subtle, gradual vignette with a little extra fall off. So that's just an extra tip there, adding that gradient fill. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification to get email updates of my next video. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. All right, I'll see you in the next one.